Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Dragoon! In the last episode, we made it through the rest of that desert. God, that was fucking take foreverness. Anyways, glad with that's... I'm just glad that's over. Anyways, we're here in the town of Ulara. It's a wingly village, and or city, town, whatever, that apparently is not uh, visible to the human eye unless you have the power of visibility, or whatever. Anyway, we're walking around here with Rose, trying to find all our party members or whatever, and we're in a part of town we actually haven't been in yet. I just had to hit the save point up last episode and call the episode. Anyway, let's talk to people. You. Have I talked to you? There are two magic elements sealed in Rose's choker. One is to open the signet of the city, and the other is immortality. Well, I guess that makes sense why she lives so long. Standing in the darkness of the night, you feel almost like you've lost your sense of existence. Have you had this kind of experience? No. It's hard to hold it without being scratched by the thorns. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Cool. Found me a stardust. I was just mashing the X button as usual. Alright. No friends over here. Just foes. Let's see where this goes. Inside. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. So, we are leaving in the morning. Yes, we are. What are you doing here? We don't know what will happen in ancient city of Wingleys. We need strong weapon. Congo doesn't care about leader of creatures. Congo goes with you to end. For me too, it is no longer the mere problem of the moon gem. I cannot ignore this crisis of the world. You didn't imagine we wouldn't go with you, did you? I didn't. Hurry up if you want to buy. Humans are giganto. Your time is limited. You fools. If you want to buy shit, buy it now. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. I don't have all my party members, so... Wow. That sucks. But it's cool because it has more SP. But that's about all it has. Or it gives you more SP. I don't need more SP is the thing. I'm good. <sighs> These are probably all shitty, huh? I don't have Hashel or uh, Miranda, but I'm thinking these are probably all pretty shitty. At least the Arrow Force probably is. The Thunder Fist might be good, actually. Thunder-based attack for the Thunder guy? You know what? I'm just going to buy it because I know I don't have it. And I'll, and I'll just see if it's better later. Magical Greaves. Um, now... Elude Cloak. That's pretty good. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Increased Magic and attack evasion by 20 points. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. We cannot deny that that sounds pretty good. I might just buy one of these. Just to have one. I have a lot of money. So why not? Um, why not? Mm, why not? What's this for? Uh, it's Santa's sleigh. Duh. I can't tell. It looks weird. Whatever it is. Smashing that X button, hoping for some stardust. Dude, I found three in town here, dude. That's crazy. That's like the most I found in one town for hella long. It's been a long time since I found so many in one place. Yo, got that stardust. Ho, oh, oh. Can I go up here? This leads to. Oh, it goes around in a circle. Well then. That's it? Nothing else? Oh. Alright, well, the only other place to check for my friends would be in here, unless they're by the entrance, so let's check here first. Are there any of my friends in this house, please? There is two of them. It's not true. The reason why I hate roses is because I see my mother in roses. My mother never looked at me directly. It was as if she was hiding something from me. And she beat me up. I didn't know what was going on and why she was doing it to me, but I remember at least one thing. There were always roses on the shelf behind my mother. That fucking bitch. Why did your mother leave you? Sorry. Let's not talk about me anymore. It spoils our drinks. I don't think so. It is okay to be this way. Life is not always happy. Listening to your story reminds me of my past. About your runaway daughter, right? You are so sharp that it hurts. I hate being roundabout. Oh, you guys are here. 
When are we leaving? Hashel has been drinking too much since we heard <laughs> since he heard we were going to Rouge. That's right. Drink a little more and let's leave for Rouge. At once. Of course, to save the world. Mmm. Give me a drink too, homie. May I join? I wanted to talk to you, Miranda. Same here. Okay. We're gonna stand around and have some drinks together. Alright, alright. Shall we go? Okay, I guess that's the end of that conversation. Cool. Smashing that X button and hoping for some more stardust. I had some pretty good luck so far. Sup? An age when the world was ruled by winglies. In order to pay for that, we are now stuck in here. Uh, well, okay then. During the age, during the time of the dragon campaign, winglies were divided into two camps. Each followed one of the leaders, Charles and Melvu, who were siblings. Yep, learned that story. Thank you. Come again. You. Spell of eternity indeed creates an immortal body, but it also corrodes the heart. Seems like we're in a club, doesn't it? We're all up in the club. Me and my homies, so tall up. We're all drunk in the club. Me and all my homies, so tall up. Anyway, there's Maru. Yo, Maru. Hey, buddies. Karen was telling me about the, the teleporting device. It's not like back home. And when are we going? We already heard lots about it from Charles, and we found out where we should go. You're coming too? Of course! Without me, the strongest of all, you cannot save the world! Besides, I learned a lot from following- I learned a lot following Dart. Yeah? Everybody's the same. Gigantos, humans, and winglies. And I can't stand the destruction of a world where everybody lives. What? Oh, sorry. I read that wrong. Anyway. I think for the first time- oh shit, this is Rose. <laughs> I think for the first time I agree with you. I think for the first time I agree with Maru. Is this the first time? Leave her tomorrow. Leave here tomorrow morning. By that time, I'll be prepared so that I can send you on the way that goes to the home of Gigantos from here. We can travel that far instantly? Then we might as well go directly to Rouge. Our power is becoming weaker by day by day. That is our maximum power. I understand. Take a boat to Rouge. It should have been prepared in the Twin Castle a short while ago. Was there a dock in that castle? I asked King Zior and had to make one especially. I'm surprised that he listened to a wingly. There are no humans or winglies when it comes to the end of the world. You don't need to thank us. Now it is not too much to say that the mission of the city is to send you off. Yes, and this is one way this city has been looking after the world. Let's go back to Charles. She must have prepared the bedrooms for us. Okay. Let's go take our nappy poo, and then we'll go fucking back to the world that we once knew. Home of Gigantos, huh? Anyway, alright, who's my party to start this off? Let's just go... Actually, this... It's not a terrible choice of party. Let's do that. I'm cool with that. Until Maru learns that goddamn last freaking addition, she is not allowed. She's not allowed! Not allowed, I said. Not allowed! I never did make space. I guess we're gonna just discard another fucking item so I can make some goddamn space. So wait, what do these do again? Sun wraps these MP... Ooh, Moon Serenade is MP all. That's pretty good. Um, I guess I'm just going to drop this fucking Rave Twister, because whatever. Throwing it away. Just to see what this is. It's probably a fucking heal potion. Oh, another Moon Serenade. Actually, that's pretty good. Alright. I can live with that. Pretty good. Anyway, are we done here? Charles? you're not even here. You're just going to see us off, I guess. Wait, was there anything back here? Where's that? Her, in her throne? In her throne? Throne? No? Okay. Alright, well then. I guess we're done here in uh, Ulara. Let's go back and have some fun. If I say I say back because we're going to go back to the home of Gigantos. That's pretty far back, man. We haven't been there in a long, long time. 
I think it's gonna be a long, long time before we get to go back to the home of Gigantos. Except for it's already been like two discs, but it's time to finally go back now. Holy shit, that's a bunch of winglies. Charles, what is this? Oh, naive boy, don't you understand? It's a send off for great heroes, duh. You shouldn't have. Don't be so shy. Rosie, honey, you've been doing really great. Since the soul of the Raj embryo, the god of destruction was released, you have saved the world. Let me see, at least 107 times, silly. Really? After even being called a black monster. Stop it. The monster has died. Siki is serious, and he has everything to give birth to the god of destruction. Only dragoons can stop him. I wonder what creator Soa is thinking. Like, destruction or uh, regeneration? I wonder why it wants to go, us to go through such a painful thingy. A painful thingy? Are you fucking kidding me with this dialogue? <sighs> we will change fate. Everybody must survive, okay? No one dies. Everyone lives. Now go. Zeke won't wait for us. Damn right he won't. Right, right, right. Telepar me, please. <laughs> Alright, supposedly I'm about to go to the home of Gigantos But I'll be the judge of that Here we go Wait, what? Oh What? The hell? We're just gonna walk over here? Wait, what? 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 What, 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 what? Oh, shit for real? That's where we come out? Yo! Home of Gigantos. It was linked to here. It's been a while. Karen and Gigantos were pals for a long time. Of course, it was when there were still some Gigantos left. There were nice winglies like Charles. They weren't all brutal people, unlike the legend tells. We have to rewrite the book in the National Library. Yes, correct knowledge brings correct conduct. That's after this journey is ended. For now, let's keep being racist. Let's go sing King Zior. We have to head to Rouge on the Queen Fury. Hey, the Queen Fury. I like how Rose was just back still in the cave. Silly. Also, this was a free heal spot, wasn't it? It was. Awesome, dude. We're going back. You guys ready to go back? It's been so long since we've been here, man. Remember this place? It's crazy, man. Last time when we were here, we were like fighting and shit. It was like crazy, yo. And there's people shooting arrows at me. Shit, that's still happening right now. Well, I got out of there without fighting one battle. How lucky am I? Also, I didn't set up equipment. I didn't set up any equipment at all. I just said, let's go. We need to do that real quick. Armed. Let's see. Let's do... I already gave him the therapy ring. Uh... She already has dancer shoes on. Is the dancer ring already on? Eh, she's got dancer shoes. That should be fine. And he's got the bandit shoes. Eh, that should be fine. Supposedly, I actually have two therapy rings, and I do. I just saw it. I do have two therapy rings. I feel dumb. Whatever, I don't need another one right now. That's fine. I didn't realize I had two of them. I thought I had two of them. That's the thing, but I didn't realize I did. Oh, man, I have to go back through here again? Man! Forgot about this place. Made me walk back through the fucking valley of corrupt. If I have to walk back through here, you have to watch me walk back through here. Them's the brakes, folks. Them's the brakes. Do 
Go back through this fucking dungeon again. Yay, I love the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. It's my favorite dungeon in all the fucking universe. The Valley of Corrupted Gravity. It will be the best place ever been. That's right, that was like a shortcut to get the fuck out of here faster. I remember now. Yay, shortcut to get the fuck out of there faster. Yay. 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 Still not done though. Let's go. Let's fight some hoes and bust them some mo. Hey, enemies we fought a long time ago. Do you remember? It's been so long. It's been a while since I done fought this fucking spider urchin. It's been a while. And then I fuck him up with my brand new moon strike. It's been a while since I stabbed one of those fucking spiders. It's been a while since we done Got one of these Rocky Horror Picture Shows. Fucked up that edition. It's fine. Silly that they knocked Rose out on the first goddamn turn. How annoying. Alright, come on. I need to get out of here, man. I can't be here anymore, man. It's driving me crazy, man. It's gonna be a long, long time before I get the fuck out this fucking dungeon. Gotta wait for this fucking rock to come over here so I can get the fuck out of here. It's gonna be a long, long time before we get the fuck out this dungeon for real. It's gonna be a long, long time. I lie. I think that was it, right? No, nope. one more screen. All right, we're gonna go through this screen again. How could I forget? How could I be so naive to think I was done going through the valley of corrupted gravity? Do I remember this guy? Man, it has been a long time since we've been here. I almost forgot what the enemies were here. I definitely remember the rock guy and the spider guy. I guess I remember this guy. I guess I was, forgot he was called Dragonfly, though. Oh, I fucked it up? Really? Man! I still have yet to get that one right. I have zero, zero correct, uh, whatever, correct executions of that addition. I have failed miserably every time. And it's usually because I can get counterattacked, but no, that time I just fucked up. Fucked up like a noob, dude. Stop fucking up like a noob, dude. No fucking up like a noob, dude. Stop, 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 stop fucking up like a noob, dude. Stop, 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 stop fucking up like a noob, dude. Are we out of here yet? No. Oh, yeah. Forgot about this screen. The one that actually gets us out of here. The entrance. That King Zior had to let us through to be able to go into the valley in the first place. Welcome back to Tiberoa. It's been a while. And now we're gonna walk all the way over here. So apparently there was... I guess there was. I don't know. There Was there a dock at the Twin Castle? I don't remember there being a dock there. Didn't we have to go to the town where we first found Maru to actually get on the ship that took us across the water? Yes. I feel like that's how we got across the water in the first place, right? We got on the Queen's Fury from whatever the name of that town was where we first met Maru. I can't remember the name. It's been a long time since I... I don't remember the, remember the name of anything. I don't even remember the name of the town that has the Twin Castle. We'll find out right now, I guess. No, we won't, because this isn't even the place. I gotta go through another area to get there. Jeez, man. Forgot how many areas I had to go through to get to some of these goddamn places. Where's my fast travel option, goddammit? Something tells me there isn't one in this game. Love two fucking Good counter. And 
Right, one more. Finally. Good lord, man. Demons dance for real, though. Shit, took a lot of button presses. Finally got it. First time. First time for everything. She gives you 100 SP, though. Worth it. Worth it. Boy, to the Barons. To the Barons. Oh, this place. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking this was one of those forests. But no, this is the Barons area. I remember this. If I go right here, I can take myself to that town I was talking about. But I'm going to go to the Twin Castle to go talk to the King Zior guy first, right? I'm pretty sure that's what we're supposed to do. It's just interesting to be back here again. Because it, it feels like it's been a long time since we were here. But it really wasn't, like, super duper long. It's probably been, like, three weeks, almost a month. I guess that's quite a while. But still. What happens when you drag out an LP this long? And the only reason that this is felt longer, like a longer LP, is because of how many, like, small breaks I've taken in the middle of it. Whether it just be, like, a skip a day, or I skip a whole week because of E3, like, that kind of shit. This LP has lasted a little bit longer than it probably should have because of the mostly unforeseen circumstances other than E3. So, I don't know. Would we be done with it already if I didn't skip any days? Possibly. I still say my over-under to finish this game is 50 episodes, and I think I can stand by that number pretty pretty, pretty cleanly. I mean, we've gone through three discs, and we're only in the mid-30s, mid, mid -30s, so I think 50 is pushing it. We, we shouldn't even make it to that point, as long as I keep the episodes at this length and we're, we make steady progress. I mean, even with the side shit I've done, it, we're still this far, so that's good. That's good. I, it's very helpful that I've made these episodes really long because obviously this game has been long. I mean, if you saw my my hours, I've already been playing this game for 50 hours or 40 hours. I mean, like my hours when I loaded up the game today was 39 something. So this episode will put me past the 40 hour mark for sure. I think. I think I'm that close. Probably. I'll just say probably. Put me past 40 hours. We're close enough to where I can say I've definitely played this game for more than 40 hours just because and because of deaths and stuff too. You have to take into account things I've had to redo from deaths. So it's definitely been over 40 hours of playthrough. Yes. Um, that's combined with you know the grinding I've done off screen and stuff because that save is all the same save line. But anyway, enough babbling about how long this game is. Of course it's long. It's a fucking PS1 RPG. What do you expect, man? And we've already done our first long dungeon of, of Disc 4 with the Desert Place, and now, and then we went to our first town already in Ulara, and now we're gonna go do some backtracking and get ourselves over to, to another new place called Rouge, which technically isn't new, because we've heard about it all game. And I was wondering if we were actually going to get to go there, and I guess all those answers have been answered. Hey, this town, okay. I was trying to remember which town this was. I was thinking of a different town for some reason. Cool. I like this town. Um, I don't think we really need to heal or anything, so let's just go. Got full items still. I didn't use any. We're good to go, man. We're good to go. Let's get to Rouge. I'm down to get to Rouge. Y'all down to get to Rouge? I'm down. You. Sup? Oh, long time no see, folks. You are free to come and go as you wish because I remember your face. Your pretty face. Your itty bitty pretty face. Think it has. Oh, yeah. We're here, baby. We're here. The king's just waiting for us with his daughters. All oh, the daughters. Right. Ma, daughter, I have been waiting for you. Yes. What is this? We are seeing you all. We have received a messenger from Charl. Her name is Car was Karen. Everything is ready for you going to room. Cool. The world must not be destroyed. Even if it is the intention of the creator, we are still alive and living. I beg of you, please save the world. Because I can't do shit. Commodore Pula is waiting for you in the basement. Okay. To carry our hope. Cool. Don't worry, I got this. The world will be saved. 
I got this. So long, Gay Bowser. Oh, right. let's get out of here. Okay, so these doors are now open. Those doors were not accessible before. So, where do they go then? Do they both go to the same exact place? Yup. Aha. Pula! Oh, this guy. Oh, you're here! That's his name. I shouldn't remember his name either. Everybody looks confident. Although, you're going to need it to an unknown land, there is no hesitation or wavering. Actually, it's my home village. A man of the sea isn't bothered by those little details. <laughs> anyway, we're ready to go. We absolutely have to stop the crazy conspiracy to annihilate the world. However, we should never give up to rescuing our loved ones either. Yeah, I can agree with that. Let us be going, Dart. Sounds like a plan, bruh. The ocean awaits you. Cool. The Commodore makes it sound simple, but I assume that this time it'll be a long journey, won't it? Yep. Then I think you'd better get what you need from the city and come back. Thank you. It's okay. I'm happy to help you, Dart. Besides, please, please rescue Shauna. We give you our props. Of course we will. Come on, man. I'll be waiting for you on the boat. All right. We got this. Let's go. Okay, actually, that being said about the whole make sure you grab what you need from town before you go, I'm going to save it right here because I have no idea if I'm ever going to be able to come back here. I assume that we're just going to the, the island for a while or wherever the hell this place is for a while. And then we'll re be right back here afterwards. But I don't know that for a fact. So I'm going to make a nice new save spot right before we go. Just in case this is like a point of no return where you can't come back to this area ever again. I doubt it because there are areas we've been to before that I think we have to go back to again for uh, other, you know, pretty much they foreshadowed that we're going to have to go back to some places that we've already been, right? That's what it pretty much said when they were explaining all the places we need to go for the signets. So Rouge is just one of them. I'm assuming the other places will also be through places we've already been. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready? Yep. Yes, we are. Now, we're leaving. Let's go then. We off to Rouge, the wonderful school of Rouge. Oh yeah, exciting. We're gonna learn some stuff at the wonderful of Rouge, okay? I guess Square will take us back to our will take us into our onto the ship, I assume. There's a little icon down there that said press square. I assume that'll take us onto the ship. Oh man, is this one of those enemies I can't hit? I hate these guys, they're annoying. And yes it is. It's one of those enemies I can't hit. Great. Yes please, just run away, because I don't know how else to hurt you. I really don't. I don't want to deal with your rainbow parrot ass today. No, thank you. No, thank you at all. Let us go across the sea to the land of Rouge in the world of Endinus. No more rainbow birds, please, please. No more rainbow birds, please, please. I'll fight a mermaid. Bring the mermaid on, bitch. Jamal, mermaid. You think you fucking handle this? You don't think you can handle this, do you, mermaid? She's actually just a mermaid. Wow. Okay. I was saying it facetiously, but she actually is just a fucking regular ass pink ass mermaid. Get wrecked, homie. I dance all over your face, bitch. Tap dance, tap dance on your face. Get some. Get some. Get some. Alright, the Outland Village of Rouge. Let's do it. It's just, we're just, we're just gonna be there. Like, there's no bullshit. We're just here now. Sounds good to me, man. Sounds good to me. Hey, welcome to the new village. Wow! Sail ho! Wow! It actually reminds me of a town that's like straight out of Waterworld or something, dude. It's kind of cool looking. I like it. 
or even just like it looks kind of like Killica from uh, Final Fantasy X. It's been a long time. I wonder if anybody remembers me. <laughs> Hashel! Wow, that was quick. Didn't take long. Yeah, it's me. Well, it's been maybe 20 years. You've been gone for such a long time. How have you been? I was looking for my runaway daughter, but I gave up on it. It's because she's dead, bro. Claire, huh? Huh, that's... Uh, I feel real sorry for that, man. But, uh, who are all these people? Uh, are you the... Are they your new pupils? No, they are my friends. I'd like for you to get to know them. But we don't have time now. I have something important to uh, talk to you about. Alright, come up. I'll listen to you. Come on, get over. The floor's gonna give way. Oh, okay. Nobody stand in one place for too long. Whoops. 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 Can I change my mind? Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. 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 Oh my god, I have to watch this cutscene and everything? Oh, come on, man. I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. <sighs> really? It's gonna make me watch that again when I go back in, isn't it? This fucking game. This fucking game, bruh. This fucking game. It shouldn't even let you leave. Like, you wanted to go here for a reason. Why is it even letting me leave right now? Silly. Oh my god! Can we not watch this every time? Why am I yawning so much today? God damn, dude. I should not be tired. I fucking slept till like 11 today. That's not normal. That's enough hours of sleepy pee pee to not be tired. So fucking wake your bitch ass up. Do some commentary for Legend of Dragon. What do you say? Alright. Let's not accidentally get back on the ship again like a fucking idiot. Idiot. You, speak to me. Hey, you said you have an important thing to talk about, didn't you? Go directly to Mayor's place and don't wander around in the practice area. What? In the practice area? The mayor's waiting for you. Okay? I don't even know where the mayor fucking is, yo. I just, I'm just looking around, yo. Is this him? Is this where I'm supposed to be? This might be where I'm supposed to be. Whoops. Just realized there's hella, like, exits out of here. Oh, hey. Treasure. Nice. Hey, War God's Calling. That's a, definitely an accessory. To a crime. Let's talk to this guy. There are no animals in Rouge. That would attack people. So we don't need protective clothing like you have. Oh, okay. Rouge is more like a family than a village. Everybody in the village is a member of the family. Okay, no wonder you know Hashel then. Hasn't changed a bit, huh? No kidding. This village is forgotten. We rarely have visitors from the continent. All we do have is fish and sleep. Fish and sleep. Practice and sleep. And practice and sleep. And practice and sleep. And... That's about it. Nothing has changed since Hashel left the village. Say, what's cooking? You came all the way here. Must be important, huh? Yep. To be honest, we are looking for the way to the ancient cities. Ancient cities? What the heck are they? Those were towns where the long gone Wingleys lived. You know anything about them? Wingleys? What on earth are they? You lost me there, man. You couldn't know. Let me explain. Sit down, I'll tell you a story. Everyone gather round. Uncle Hashel has story time for you all. And afterwards, you all get a snack pack. A world crisis? That's a pretty awful thing, then. That's why we are in a hurry. Are there any old ruins around here? Things that humans couldn't make. How about this? There's a stick rising out from the sea. Could it be related? Oh, that thing in the sea. Indeed, humans couldn't have made it. Where's that? It's in the middle of the sea, idiot. But you can't get close by boat. Because there's an awful whirlpool. But you can see clearly from the clifftop. Interesting. 
Well, it suddenly came up, so you wouldn't have known about it. Shall we try? Hope it's the one you folks want to go to. Me too. Great. It's a fucking whirlpool in the sea. Gotta love it. Gotta fucking love it. Any stardust around here? Because I wouldn't mind having some free stardust, baby. Give me that, give me that stardust, baby. Wow, your clothes look really heavy. How do you fight in those? You don't want to know. You call that huge chunk over there in the ship? See a ship? Yeah. What do you call it? Not a ship? Well, you crazy, bruh. That's just a ship. That's just a ship, homie. Okay, so that ladder goes to the same place. That ladder goes to the same place. To the same place. To the same, same, same place. Alright, so they just sell the badges and the gigantic ring the badges. Okay, so this raises magic power and attack. Magic power and defense. Interesting. Interesting indeed. <laughs> Alright, you sell items, I assume. Quality's good. Buy all you want. Um, um, I think I'm good, actually. You. That stick suddenly rose up in the middle of the sea. Isn't it spooky? So spooky like a record. I've never been so spooked in my spookiest lives. Like a record. 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 I need to go back up to the big house because there was more exits in there and I want to make sure I can get all the treasures that I found under the house if I go down here where does this take a moi where does this take a moi Hopefully this leads to another ladder that leads me up to that motherfucking treasure. It does. Yay. And say hello to my Satori vest. Interesting. Do you fight with the sword? Do you? For we fight with our fists. When we want to hunt animals, we just punch them in the face. And thus, they are now dinner. No, seriously. If you don't if you use weapons to fight, but you don't, how do you eat? Do you just not? You just, you just, they probably just fish. Answered my own question. They probably just fish. Um, anyway. There's the Satori vest. Avoids poison, stun, arm, and also better defense than what you have on. Yeah. War God Calling. Automatic addition, half damage, and SP. Oh, one of these. I'm not a big fan of those. Not at all. Also, weapon. Didn't. I didn't check his weapon, did I? Whoopsies. Uh, the Thunder Fist is better. Okay, cool. So it's actually stronger. It's good to know. All right, cool. Um, let's go. Gotta go back around, and then we can leave and go check the cliffside. Gotta see this big stick in the water. That's so interesting to these guys. It wasn't there be there. It wasn't there before, but now it's there. Just thought I'd tell you about it because that's what we do. Where's this one go, I wonder? Whoa, what? You are not completely well yet. Take it easy, Lil. Feeling Lil missing. They mommy and dad. Okay. Who the heck is Lil? Or Martel? Oh, it's you folks. I'm surprised you came all the way here. Look at the girl. My daughter took it ill a year ago since then has been sleeping in pain oh this is the fucking okay the girl from um i don't remember the name of the town but it was the one where we fucking i know which one we're talking about here anyway my daughter took ill a year ago and since then has been sleeping in pain okay but she's much better thanks to you i appreciate it cool i see the reason why you were looking for stardust was this for was for this girl martel for this girl, Martel. Yes, but I can't get too relaxed. She's better, but not completely cured. It means more Stardust will help her, doesn't it? Oh, right. So when you find some more Stardust, give it to me, will ya? 
I appreciate it. Oh, was Martell the person I was giving star to Stardust to? I didn't even remember. Okay, there's 12 more. It's my chance to return your favor. Here, take this. Rare thing I promised. Hey, I got a War God Sash. With this much, Lil's illness might be cured. Sick. You're welcome. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I beg you, folks. Save Lil from her illness. Do it. Do it. Do it. Did I do it? She good? Hey, I think I did it. I think I did it. I feel refreshed. I feel refreshed like before I got sick. Lil. Hey, dude, I did it. Lil. Martell is not who I thought she was. I forgot that Martell was the person I was giving stuff to in the bar back at the town. But see, the thing is, like, I didn't remember her name. And I didn't even know it was a girl, because I'm far away, I couldn't tell. But anyway, Ma, I cannot breathe. Me, man. I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. Let's leave them alone, shall we? Do I get a prize at least? Can I fucking get a reward for this shit? I saved your life. Give me things. I deserve things for your life, man. I helped you live, man. You must show your appreciation for I helped you live forever. Now what? Oh, it's you, folks. Lil has come, become so much better, but if you find more startups, won't you give it to me? I guess it's the partiality of a parent. I want to wish her so... I wish for her so that she won't be sick anymore. Keep your eyes open, will ya? Sure. I gave her all the starters I had. Look, look, I'm so much better. Yeah, I see that. You know what would be funny? If I looked in here and you had Stardust just chilling, I would laugh my ass off if there's a Stardust in here. Probably isn't, but it would be hilarious. Oh, another fucking room. Okay. What do we have in here? 100 Gs, babies. Are you kidding me? There was stardust over here the whole time, just so you know. Around these islands, the bride becomes a family member of the groom's island. I heard this place is called Broken Islands. I heard from a man who came here when I was a kid. Okay. Um, just checking my stardust. I have 33 now. Okay. That's not exactly a number to be all uppity about. I'm thinking this bitch ain't gonna give me anything special until I get to maybe 40 stardust. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and go back down and see what we can see from this cliffside view or whatever. Gotta see what we can see. Gotta see this stick popping out of the ground or whatever. There's Stardust laying in the rubble here on the ground. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Find stuff, find stuff, find stuff now. Find stuff, find stuff, find stuff. Find stuff, find stuff, find stuff, find stuff. You won't, you won't, you won't, you won't. Well, I'm right about one thing, I won't. Ooh, this must be the cliffside view spot. It looks fancy dancy. Oh shit, it's the practice spot. Oh fuck, that's not a stick. You called it a stick. That is not a stick. That must be what the mayor was talking about. There was no stick. 20 years ago when I was here. It's huge and more like a tower than a stick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fucking stick. This structure could never be made by human technology. Rose, do you know anything about it? You were there once, weren't you? Weren't you? That's right. Rose is one of the dragoons who liberated humans. Don't you remember anything? I'm sorry, it's been a while. <laughs> Charles said the Cygnus Spheres remain in the magic city Aglis, the death city Mayfield, and the law city Zinapatos. If I remember correctly, there was only the magical city Aglis in this region of the sea. Well then, Charles must have made us come here because she thinks Zeke will go after the Cygnus Sphere of Aglis first. Rose, a question please. What the heck is the law city? And whatever they call it, or whatever they call it, what do they mean? 
I was thinking about that too. The Crystal Palace was called the Birth City too. The Birth City Crystal Palace was a city where babies were selected to be born. Select babies? What? Those with weak magic power weren't allowed to be born. Whoa, that's awful. And the Death City Mayfill was where the souls of the dead were sent to an infernal world. Wingley's in the past that even their destination after death decided for them. You want to know anything else? Sure, tell me all about it. It was the capital city of the Wingley world dominated by Melbourne Frommer. It was the center of politics and the military. That's why it was so damaged. That's the reason why it is the Forbidden Land now. Okay, that makes sense. Got it, got it. Crystal Palace? I already told you, you are hopeless. The Birth City Crystal Palace was the city where babies were selected to be born. Those were being Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. Uh, I'm just gonna keep making your period. Don't make me say it again. Didn't you listen to me? I just want to see what she said after you make her repeat herself. Law City. The Law City, Zenobatos, was the city where Wingley laws were made. Publicly, they claimed it was for justice, but in reality, they were laws to judge other species. Also, trials and executions were carried out in Zenobatos. I can easily imagine what kind of trials there were. It gives me the creeps. The magical city of Aglis was the city where magic was studied. It is astonishing that even though they had much more magic than now, they still studied it so deeply. It would never happen now. You are carefree, Maru. What do you mean it'll never happen now? Why not? You really know this stuff. If it is, Aglis, how can we approach it? We gotta hurry or Zeke will get there first. Well, cannot go by boat. Gotta find some other way. For real? Gotta find some other way, huh? Okay. Dart said we have to find another way. We don't have any other choice. Sorry. It's the only thing that's allowed. No other choices. I just wanted to see if I can explore this area for a sec. Anything cool? Like, I don't know. Some hidden stardust or some shit? Realization of progress makes even a hard practice enjoyable. Yeah! Key up! Discipline your body. Discipline your heart. Then the tower of the martial art will open itself. Never forget it. Never forget. Never forget. You're going near the stick? It's impossible. There's a big whirlpool around the stick. No one can go near the stick. It's a stick, for God's sake. Who wants to go near a stick? You're crazy. It's just a fucking stick. I don't mean to be rude, but it's not a stick, okay? It's actually like, I don't know, a big-ass tower or something, so could you stop being so naive about the stick thing? Like, seriously, right? Like, seriously. Anyway, okay, we have to find some other way, so says Dart. What does that even fucking mean? We have to go find in some other way. Are we just gonna magically find the MacGuffin that tells us the way to go? Probably. Or we're going to just see the mirror room in Agla's the Magical City, because what the fuck. Oh shit, people are watching us from the Magical City. Okay. They're watching us. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, meh. What's wrong, Rose? We were being watched by somebody. Being watched? Shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What's going on? The sea is splitting. Let's go. Oh fuck. Well, I guess we found that other way by not doing anything but walking backwards or whatever. Okay, the sea is splitting. <laughs> Moses is here to part the seas, if you will. Oh shit, that's more than one stick now. What is that? The magical city Agnes revealed itself. Hashel, is that what you were looking for? It seems like it. Thank God that it found us. Now we can go in before Zeke. Let's go. 
okay. We're just gonna fucking go. Alright, cool. Let's fucking go. Sounds like a plizzity plan to me. Sound like a plizzity plan to me. Sound like a plizzity plan to me. Sound like a plizzity plan to me. Gonna go gonna hunt me. Do we just jump in the water and go? Like how do we how do we even get there? I'm confused. I'm confused on how this all works. Like, do we just, like, jump in the fucking, like, water and whatever, and, like, do the thing or whatever? Don't worry, I'm going up here for a reason. I'm gonna stop the episode here. Spoiler alert. Next time on Let's Play Legend of Dragoon, we walk the parted waters to the magical city of Aglis, which will be glorious. I'll see you guys then. Peace!